Stellar Blade is one of the most hyped up game releases of 2024, and ever since the demo released, people have been praising it. It looks like this is going to be a massive win for Shift Up, but now we're also seeing it top tons of pre-order charts. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. Now, I usually don't play demos because I want my first playthrough to be the first time I'm actually playing the game. I'll watch, like, a little bit of the trailers, but that's about it. But I played the Stellar Blade demo on livestream, and I absolutely loved it. I was already extremely happy hyped for this game. I have been for months since really we got the official release date for it after the several delays, but after playing it, I am on another level of excitement. It is genuinely, I think, going to be a lot of people's game of the year for 2024. And I even bought the digital uh, deluxe edition. I'm very sad that there's not a physical deluxe edition, but I did buy the digital deluxe edition because I want all of the extra perks. I want all of the extra outfits and the little bit of content that's in it. But uh, as you can see, the Stellar Blade hype is massive because it is on, it is hitting the number one spot on several websites for pre-orders, starting off with Amazon. On Amazon, under bestsellers in PlayStation 5 games, it is sitting at a comfortable number one, and it actually has been four days ever since the demo officially released, and this is, of course, just the, uh, just the tip of the iceberg because there are so many other charts we also have over on the PlayStation website because this is a PlayStation 5 exclusive, which is another problem. I really wish that they had released this on other platforms because so many people want to play it and there are still so many people who don't own PlayStation 5s. I hope it at least comes to PC in the near future, but both editions of it are on the pre-order charts. It is number two here, but because it's Final Fantasy, Dawn Trail, uh, and Stellar Blade releasing around the same time. They have been, you know, flipping back and forth. Stellar Blade has definitely gotten that number one spot many times. Dawn Trail also has gotten the number one spot, but both editions of Stellar Blade are on this chart. As you can see, we have it in this screenshot at the Digital Deluxe Edition at number two, and the Base Edition at uh, number six, but again, it's been up at the top, and also Mark Kern had made a tweet showing how it is number one in pre-orders, not just on these versions of these storefronts, but in the UK, in Japan, in Romania, Korea, Germany, China, India, Switzerland, Finland. I mean, this game currently is dominating, and we are still a couple of weeks, three and a half or about at this point, weeks away from full launch. I think that this is going to be a surprise behemoth of a launch because I always expected this to do really good, but I, did, I didn't expect it to be like a number one top seller. I figured that there would be a lot of people playing it, but it wouldn't already be topping the charts and it wouldn't hold those charts consistently for over a month. And it looks at this point that that is what is going Going to happen. And of course, uh, I've, I've talked about Stellar Blade a lot on the channel because there is so much hype around the designs. The fact that Shift Up was not afraid to create very feminine, attractive looking lead characters. They are not afraid to put their artistic vision into a game like this because, you know, a lot of companies now don't. They are afraid of being cancelled and of their products being attacked, and so they tone down designs, and that is exactly the opposite of what they decided to do with Stellar Blade, and I think so many people are standing by them because they are willing to defend their designs and their creation tooth and nail, and they are just not afraid to create what they want, even if it could potentially lead to some backlash, and they're definitely have been some sensitive snowflakes on social media over the months whining about this game, talking about how, oh, these designs make me feel uncomfortable, and if they make you feel uncomfortable, if you don't like them, you don't have to play this game. But there are clearly millions of people who are so hyped for this release and who are genuinely excited. I mean, even the comment sections of posts like this are people praising this game, saying, uh, it is sad 
we have to wait till it hits PC, unfortunately, which is, again, very sad. I wish that it would have come to multi-platform, but it at least is releasing on PlayStation 5 for now. They have teased other platforms in the future. Only time will tell. But we've also got people saying, yes, I can't wait for the full release. The demo was awesome. I thought the demo was perfect. You had the boss rush mode where you got to, you know, experience a slightly higher level where you had a bunch of gear unlocked already for you to test around different uh, mechanics. Of course, you also had the main demo, which was the first hour-ish of the game, hour and a half-ish of the game, and you got your first boss experience within that. I thought that they did a really good job with balancing all of the mechanics that the game has, but also, um, you know, allowing you to have a little bit of free reign. Obviously, it is not like some giant open world game, but it's not like it was a very cookie cutter demo, in my opinion at least, and I thought that it was really well balanced and many other people clearly enjoyed it. And there's also tons of people saying, I wasn't even going to buy this, but after downloading the free demo, I decided that this was good enough and I am actually going to swipe my credit card for it. This is what happens when you have passionate creators making something that an audience wants. They listened to what people wanted and they are delivering us, at least it seems at this point, a fantastic product and they deserve all of the hype and deserve all of the credit. So happy with the demo. This in Chronicles 100 Heroes is what I'm waiting for. Yeah, a lot of people right now are definitely waiting for Stellar Blade's release. It seems like over the next few weeks, it's going to be very hard to find something to do while we eagerly await the launch of this game. But there are so many people who are very excited for it. And of course, there are still some haters, some outlets uh, trying to be mad over this and honestly trying to get people to not buy it. I recently talked about IGN France and how they were getting roasted for saying Stellar Blades Eve is just a sexualized doll for people who act like they have never seen a woman, and they doubled down adding context about the English-speaking mob who Google translated it, and surprisingly, a lot of the mainstream media has not actually been attacking Stellar Blade. I think it's just because they are so desperate to stay alive that they know know if they attack Stellar Blade, they are going to get absolutely pummeled, and this IGN France article was a perfect example of that happening, and I do think that as time goes on and we get closer to release, we will still probably see the Kotakus and Polygons not be as positive about it and attack it at least in part. Maybe they won't go as hard against it as they have some other video games, but we are already seeing, you know, the IGNs attacking this game. We have seen several snowflakes on social media, particularly people on Reset Era, uh, whining and moaning and groaning and complaining about this game and how they dared to put attractive female characters in it. But as we get closer to release, it really seems like the hype is only going up and it will be, uh, of course, interesting to see what these sales numbers are at launch for this. Who knows if they will, you know, announce after release weekend what the sales numbers will be, if it will take a couple of weeks or a couple of months, but I think that this is going to be a major summer seller and I do think that the hype, at least right now, is off the charts for this game. As you can see, judging by the pre-orders, and I do think that this game is going to be absolutely massive massive for shift up. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.